Right, I'm pretty much going to show you how to upgrade the RAM on your computer. And so in my case, I had like, you know, a four gigabyte and um, random access memory on my um, MacBook Pro mid-2012. And I want to upgrade to um, a 16 gigabyte RAM, which my computer can handle. So basically, to carry out this rework, we're going to need a very simple toolkit and a quantity of two random access memory or RAM. Okay which you can see displayed in the video. So here you've got three screw bits, which is your PH00, your P6 and your Y0 screw bits. I think you only need the PH00 and the um, P6. You've also got your plastic spatula, as well as your magnetic bit hole that which the screw bits go into to, to screw. It's pretty, pretty simple. So we're pretty much going to start with the um, PH00 screw bit, which fits directly into our magnetic bit holder. Going to use that in unscrewing all the screws from the bottom case. Just take cognizance of the fact that at top right, the top three screws at top right have got the same size and the remainder of them screws at bottom case are of the same size. So just make sure that when you're reassembling or screwing back the screws, they go back into their original positions into two, okay? The assembly of the MacBook Pro is quite compact. You don't want to risk um, damaging any component by fitting in, you know, the wrong screws. You just make sure that, you know, the right screws go in the, in the right positions. You, you, you know, pretty simple. Just map it out um, if you're struggling with um, recognizing screw holes and sizes, okay? Originally, it appears that, you know, some residue or some Loctite was used in screwing down them screws. But once you take them off, you don't need to... Um, to apply any Loctite or any um, locking residue to, to, to make sure that it fits properly and you know the torque of the screws that goes at the bottom case is pretty rigid so you should be fine okay so top right three screws same size remainder of them hold sizes are the same just make sure you take cognizance of that you know we're taking off the bottom case now um, just make sure you wipe off dust. Dust isn't good for your computer. So this is an opportunity to, to, to clean off, to remove any dust residue in your computer. So we're going to use the plastic spatula to flick the connector open. Just make sure, you know, it's steady. You, you do it nice and steady at both ends or in the middle. But make sure that, you know, your spatula isn't hitting any soldered bits. And, you know, move the connector far further away from the connection so that accidentally, whilst you're taking out the battery, it doesn't connect because you're dealing with the lithium ion battery here. So prior to removing the RAM, you know, watch out for static and make sure you're grounded. Um, make sure you've got your um, ground strap, you know, around your wrist. Um, nitrile gloves, rubber flip-flops or shoes or boots, an anti-static um, lab coat, which is preventative but optional, so just be wary. I would advise draining your battery a little bit before carrying out this activity, okay? So um, I've ground one of my fingers to the right hand of the chassis whilst I'm um, taking out the um, the RAM. It's not compulsory, but you know, just prevent preventative measure. You can see my right hand on the chassis, um, and all you know, also on the um, the two knobs. So flick or pull out them two levers outwardly. The RAM chip pops up, and you can remove the original four gigabyte um, worth of memory. Repeat the same process for the second four gigabytes ram chip beneath once it pops up remove again but just make sure that you know you're careful so that you don't damage the um, the chip with a little wiggle and with minimum force you can get the the other chip out as well and just keep flicking the levers you know um, in the opposite direction and you should be able to get the chips out so now let's install the eight gigabytes um, worth of memory into them two slots so we fit the bottom in first um, and as soon as it fits in, we push it down so that it makes a clipping sound. Just wiggle it up and down just to make sure that it fits correctly. Then you push it down so that it sits correctly and you should hear a clicking sound. Um, then we repeat the same process for the chip at the top. So insert carefully. Um, the you know the slot should be quite evident. You know it's a golden um, um, teeth head slot. So you you know wiggle it up and down just to make sure it sits properly. Flick it in. Um, you know, and it makes a click sound, then you're fine. Then, you know, and fit the connector, um, the battery connector. Dispose the 8 gigabyte RAM chips that you removed from your computer in an ESD bag or the new casing in which you took out the new RAM chips from. You never know when you might need them, you know. So at this stage, I'm going to tuck down all the screws and back into the bottom case. Like I said initially, take cognizance of what you took out the screws from. So like the top right 
Um, you've got you know different size screws and the remainder of them screws are about the same size that go into them slots. You can see the bottom of this case has got missing um, rubber feet. So I'll be showing you in a subsequent video or in the you know you have to click one of the links to see how you can install the um, the rubber feet. But you know at this stage I'm pretty much just going to you know um, assemble the adapter um, and accessory, um, plug that into the computer, and you know let's see if it works. So hit the Mac icon, you know, at the top left of your computer. That should bring up um, the About Mac. Click on that. That brings up System Report, and click on that. Um, click on Memory on the left-hand pane, and you know you should see that you've got about 16 gigabytes and worth of RAM split into two. Also click the Clean Mark, and you can also see that you've got 16 gigabytes um, worth of memory um, in your computer. For the non-technical audience, your DDR3L 8 gigabyte um, RAM is your double data rate three synchronous and um, low voltage and um, random access memory which provides a high bandwidth interface it uses 1.3 volts whereas the ddr3 uses 1.5 volts so the ddr3l um, is better in the sense that you know it uses a lower voltage it reduces the the impact of heating and enables a faster operation okay so it, it is more viable to have the ddr3l it's rigorously screen tested um, and has got a limited lifetime warranty. Um, if you found the information in this video useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Helps the channel grow and hopefully um, catch up with you soon um, with more upcoming videos. Goodbye.